welcome back to the channel. It is Sue and I'm here today with all of my jackets and coats in an attempt to try them all on and see which ones I like and which ones I can get rid of. I am honestly, I don't wear all of them. I only wear some of them and there are some pieces that I've been holding on to for a long time because I can't let go of them but it's taking up way too much space and now that it's winter if i'm not wearing it now i'm probably never gonna wear it again so let's try them on together and i will talk about them i'm wearing a very neutral base just to show you so just like a black long sleeve and my black jeans and we're gonna go through all of my winter puffers first first on the list here is this white Montclair, which I love. I wanted a Montclair jacket and this one just felt so right. I feel like a little polar bear with this on. I like that this has like many layers here and this comes off if I want to take off the hood, but I like the hood because it's like really big. This is pretty warm. I would say on the scale, like four out of five warmth. It is not too bulky and I can wear a thick sweater underneath it, no problem. This is my second puffer. It is also like a short cropped black puffer. I like this one because it's really, really light. I can actually shove it in my backpack and it is not super warm. I would say it's three out of five. So I wouldn't wear it on a super cold day, but it does look really clean because it is really light and it cinches slightly at the waist. Very casual. It's from Abercrombie. This is my last jumper. It is the only long puffer that I have. It goes down to my mid thighs and this is probably the warmest thing that I own. I would say this is a five out of five on the warmth scale. It is from a brand called Para Jumpers, which I had not heard of before I purchased this, but once I got into it, I started seeing it everywhere. Like people wear it all the time. I like this one because it has an armpit hole on both because I don't care how cold it is. If I'm wearing layers, I will sweat, especially because if I'm like walking in New York City, it's still cold and windy, but I will still be sweaty. So I like having that little air circulation. It is actually a really light jacket for how warm it is. And so it's really comfortable. I pretty much wear this every day in the winter when I'm going out because it'll cover up everything. And the hood is small. So, I mean, it's my ideal jacket. Moving on now to my coats. This is the one I probably get the most compliments on. I wish I could say I found it myself, but my aunt gave it to me as a gift from Korea. It is so, so beautiful. Like this, is so well done like the fur is very soft but also it's leather lined inside which i really like it has buckle detail up here and then on the sides it has pockets that are real i love this it is slightly oversized on me which i kind of like because i can wear a lot of layers underneath and it is fairly warm i will say on the warm scale it is a three and a half to four out of five so i can wear it in the winter when i want to style it up and it looks great like in contrast to black as you can see so i wear this one a lot here is a jacket that i think i have to get rid of i have worn this so diligently since high school guys high school I have had this for eight or nine years now and I have loved it so much. It was from Brandy Melville and I used to fold up the sleeves but I kind of liked the way it looks with long sleeves. It was just a staple in my closet for a long time but you can see now that it's not like white anymore and while it is kind of warm, it is not super warm. All the air just like flows right into the jacket so if it's a windy day it is going to be a cold day but i love the way the zipper was on the side and i'm pretty sure this jacket was only like 50 dollars. so considering i've worn it for however many years it's been great but it's time to say goodbye or not i don't know like this is what i'm saying like i know that in my heart i should get rid of it because i probably don't even i wear it once a winter if that so I should be getting rid of it, but at the same time, it's still quite cute. And maybe if I can get it cleaned out so that it's white again, then I could wear it more often. 
I remember when I got this jacket, I was like, wow, I'm so cool. But this fuzzy jacket has almost no warmth. I would say it's like a one or two on the warm scale, especially considering that it is fuzzy. It is lined inside, so it's not that bad but I think it's so soft and so fun. If I'm wearing a very simple outfit like this, throwing it on makes me feel so chic. And I love that earlier this year, the mob wife was trending because it made me want to wear this again. But even if it goes a little bit out of style, I'm happy to wear it again because it just fits me perfectly. It was on like a super mega sale when I bought it at Saks Fifth Avenue or Saks off fifth and so it was like 30 bucks but I have worn it quite a few times and I love it because I love love fuzzy things speaking of fuzzy things this coat oh I love this coat too this is a gift from my sister and she just knows me so well like this blends so seamlessly into my style it is soft but it's also warm i would say it's like a three and a half or four on the warmth scale and i feel so elegant and fancy when i wear this green is a favorite color i'm so glad i got this as a gift because it's the kind of thing that i would look in the store and want so badly but not purchase for myself so the fact that she got this for me she just knows me so well Another coat that I really, really love. I like the pattern on this. It is subtle and nice. I feel like a British writer who's frazzled in life. It has three buttons. It's from Abercrombie and I'm wearing an X small. I think I could have gone one size down, but I kind of like it slightly bigger. I can fold this in if I like, or I can fold it out to have like a collar. It has real pockets. And it is fairly warm, like it's not to wear on a hot day, but it goes down almost to my knees, which I like because it makes me look a lot taller than I am. Love this one. Along with the coats, this is my only trench coat. It is from Abercrombie. I got it quite a few years ago. The only problem I have with it is that you can see like it wrinkles so easily. Like I need to steam it before I wear it which is like ridiculous because it's supposed to be worn on like a wet day. And there is zero warmth in this. Like you do not want to wear this when it's cold, but if it's just a rainy day and it's like kind of humid, you can wear this. It has like a buckle detail that you can tie around your waist. And it was like really cheap when I first got it. And I think for a first trench, it does a pretty good job. I wish it was lined better inside, but it does the job on a rainy day, especially in the spring. Let's talk about leather. So I used to be anti-leather for whatever reason. I think I couldn't find one that I really loved. And then when I was in LA two or three years ago, I thrifted this and it fits like a glove. I love this like brown color. I think it looks so good in the fall. And even in the spring, honestly, in the winter, I will throw this on like a chill day that's not too cold and not too hot. It doesn't add that much warmth and I hate that the pockets are like this because it's so ugly to put things in there. But I think it is very cute. I got it for like 10 bucks and I have worn it a lot. This is the only other leather piece that I have for outerwear. This one I got in Korea last year from the brand Nice Clop, and it is supposed to be really, really boxy because every time I put this on, my mom says I look like a box, but it's supposed to be. I folded down the sleeves just once so that it is right around my wrist. This pale color is really pretty in the spring. It has these nice little slits here and a buckle detail. The pockets are fake up here, but they're real over here which I like. It's like a nice quality leather, which I appreciate. It still smells like that like nice leather. Moving on to my jean jackets. So I have three. And so this is the first jean jacket that I ever got. It is from Levi's. It is like a pale blue color and it is very, very fitted. So I can't wear anything too chunky underneath it. I have occasionally worn it with like a hoodie and that's like a look, 
Yeah, so I like this one because it is fitted. It's perfectly around my waist. And so it aligns with like the kind of clothes that I wear because I wear everything high-waisted. And it is very, very light. I will say if you wear it in the summer, you will sweat to death because it is so thick. Like it's genuine denim material, so it can get heavy. But other than that, it styles really well. All right, denim jacket number two. This is a black jacket and it is thrifted. If I had to get rid of one of my jean jackets, this would be the one because there is no warmth to it at all. Like this part feels kind of cheap, but this part is lined inside. I thrifted it in Minnesota at like a Buffalo exchange and I paid like 20 bucks for it. So it does the job for me bucks. And there are occasions where I want to wear a black jean jacket, particularly when I'm wearing like blue jeans. I don't want to wear like blue on blue sometimes unless it's the same exact blue. So I'll wear this black jacket to keep it that same denim material while also having contrasting colors. Okay, the last of the jean jackets is this blue BDG jacket that I also thrifted from Fred Up. But BDG is like a brand I recognize from Urban Outfitters, which is why I got this one. It is boxy and the sleeves are really long. Honestly, I love this piece. I've been told it's not the best, but I feel like there are particular outfits where this really makes sense. If I fold up the sleeve just once, it does give it a little bit more shape. But yeah, I've also stretched out these pockets by putting too much stuff in them, but I love this huge pocket detail. I think it's really cute. It's giving a cowboy southern, but in the most fashionable way. A candy that I ate. Disgusting. This last group of outerwear, I'm gonna call it athletic outerwear. This is a like almost neon purple North Face jacket. I got this from my dad and it is so, so soft. Like when I tell you that this is the perfect fuzzy jacket, I mean, it is. It's a great inner layer. So sometimes I will wear this inside my puffer jacket if I'm going somewhere that's really, really cold. Like if I was going skiing, I would wear this and then wear my puffer on top of it. I think the colors are really, really fun. And in the winter, if I ever go to the gym, which is not often, but I will wear this. I will wear like just a sports bra and this, and it's enough because it is lined inside and super fuzzy and it keeps me warm. Similarly, I have this black gray-ish Arcteryx jacket that I got as a Christmas present from my boyfriend that I also really love. I steal his all the time. So when he got this for me, I, got, I was so excited. I just think it looks really, really chic. Compared to the North Face, I think it has a much better shape. So it is a lot prettier. And I don't know, it just is so much warmer than the North Face. Plus I love this little zipper in here. In the winter, when I once went for a run, I put my keys in here and then I went for a run. That one time. But if I ever do it again, I mean, this is a jacket I'm wearing. This is the last jacket I have. It is a rain jacket. I'm gonna say that if you wear this on a day that's pouring, you will get soaked. But when I was living in Atlanta, it would sometimes rain just like a little bit and then stop and then start up again. And I would not want to carry an umbrella, although most days I did. If it was a day where I wasn't sure if it was gonna rain, I would crumple up this jacket and put it in my backpack and then I would wear this to class if necessary. It's a Nike jacket and it is water repellent but not resistant. Like if you submerge it in water, it would get wet. But just a little bit and it dries off really quickly, which I really like. It is so light, it's like basically not even wearing an additional layer, so I like that. It has a small little hood that you can throw on if you don't wanna get your hair wet. And it is a good piece to have if you're ever traveling and you know don't want to wear a huge heavy raincoat. This is a great piece for that. Okay, so those are all of my coats and jackets. I haven't shown any of my like hoodies and sweatshirts because I feel like I'm not really going to get rid of any of those because I love them and I will wear them until they literally rip apart. So I'm not going to try those on. 
in the next segment of the series i'm going to try on a lot of my accessories and try to narrow some of those down to get rid of them i'm happy i tried on all my outerwear because this is making me realize that i don't wear a lot of them and i want to cycle through and make different styles i think in the winter is when your fashion really gets elevated because you can wear all different layers and it really has a unique flavor to it especially by adding a coat or a jacket that's different so a lot of things to look forward to. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one. In case you're wondering what it looks like after, it's like this. It's like this. Yeah.